else first. The water or something. Yeah, you have to activate the waterfall thing. That Am I going the right way? I think you are. I always get- no, I have to go back to Kray's room to get the grapple beam. That's where it is? Yeah. Oh, good. That's- I need to get to East Norfair. East Norfair, yeah. But first, I'm gonna go get a missile pack. He doesn't use those categorizations often, but I basically created them to help describe them to him when I was lost. We have a thing we do where we uh, we get on Skype, actually more often his phone because Skype's a bitch sometimes, but um, we both get on the phone and we play the same game and I tell him where I am on the map. And it's really easy to tell which, like, this is West Norfair because it's west of the elevator. East Norfair is east of the elevator also and it involves a lot of grapple beam stuff. I call them East and West, I just don't call them by the color. Oh, yeah, I described Brent Star as... I guess that's North and South-ish. It is Brent Star Deaths. Uh... Bah. Hooray for unnecessary avoiding of hits. Funny, you have to shoot four missiles at that guy, but only three beam shots. Really? Yep. Ice beam strong. It takes, like, two dozen wave beam shots to kill these guys. The wave beam's pretty goddamn weak. Oh yeah, new dick move. Um, Those guys? No. Uh, you can't use all the beams at the same time like ah, you could in the original. Correct. It's like, it's like Metroid Prime, except the interface isn't nearly as friendly to that kind of thing. Yeah. You get the uh, beam combiner after you beat Dragon, but even then you're only allowed to put two beams together. And usually that's spacer and plasma? S no, that's, spacer wave. that's murder beam. Oh, right. You can't do space or plasma at the same time. You can't even do that in the original Super Metroid. That's where the term murder beam comes from. Yeah, that's the mother brain glitch. Uh -huh. you can, can you only do that during the mother brain fight? Um, I think so. I don't know. Hmm. I, think it has something to, I think it has something to do with her attack. Whoops! This is one of those times. You know what the best part is? I'm doing this for your sake, viewers. Two missiles. No, um... I could turn back right now, but I want to show them something. Where is it? Oh, oh what? God balls! Where where am I trying to get to? I'd imagine those bubbly things at the top. Oh, I'll do that. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice shot. Arigato. Uh, there we go. I didn't know this was. I didn't remember that this was. Ah, oh, yeah, the lower Norfair entrance. And god damn it. You want to do it again? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it again. Can't you just shoot that? That? I don't think so. I think I tried. Okay. Let's not fuck up this time. Jump! Oh! What? Thanks, ceiling. There are so many jumps like that in this game, where you have to let go of the there jump button go. and then it instantly adds to your gravity. Hey, hey, locked door. <sighs> did you just save? I think you did. Maybe it's a 25 missile door. No, it's gray. If we find it on a color wheel, I'm sure we'll. Be able to... If we find it on a color wheel, I'm sure we'll be able to determine that it's like a 50 missile door or something. Pain. So wait, now we have to get back out of here. Fuck me. Oh right, we're finding the Metroid larva. This game has a plot. Yeah, I know, right? I remember Screw Attack talking about like they um. They did a. Not only did they include this as the as their top Oops. as their number. Wow, we're fucked. Um, no, I'm fine. As their number one Super Nintendo game, mostly based on its gameplay. I like that. But um, they uh, when they they did a list of the top twenty games with Super in their name, <laughs> which were all Super Nintendo games, obviously. Oops. And um, ceiling. <laughs> so. Okay. Take off the run. There you go. Take your hand off the run button every now and, and then. And they included the story as one of the reasons why it was number one. Like, what? <laughs> Doesn't even... Ah! Matter. It's not even like the Metroid larva is crucial to game. Platforming! It's not exactly Ico. What? Okay. Time for abuse. I'm pretty sure this is where you're supposed to do regular jumping and then... What do you mean regular jumping? Not spin jumping. Oh well, I have a hard time not spin jumping. I think Did you just, just face through that? No, it, uh, it's a bomb block. You're supposed to bomb your way across those blocks, 
because it's easier than jumping. However, those are bomb. Those are destroyed by bombs. I never do that, ever. Learn several new things every day. You know to just consider. That. Okay, but we're I mean, out of there. We ought to do a blind regular Metroid LP sometime. I don't think I could beat that game. Yeah. And I know you couldn't. Oh God, no! I've tried. Really? I've tried playing it, and it's. It's really hard to navigate because, frankly, everything looks the same. Mm. It's all palette swapping. And... Oh, well, if we're talking about map, I'm sure I could find my way around. No, no, no. I mean, well, one, there isn't a map. that, But I didn't want to list that. I mean, because, frankly, if area, if every area actually looked relatively different, I wouldn't Meridia. have such a hard time. But, but it takes a damn long time to figure out where the hell you are. Just no, based I'm... on the fact that everything is so damn similar. I'm not going to... I'm saying I couldn't beat the game because of difficulty, not because of I wouldn't know where to go. That's a dumb reason. I could, I'd find my way. Oh. Uh -oh. Is that game really that hard? Oh, wait, yes, it is. It is. I was under the impression it was. I'm... Well, it is Nintendo. I mean, I beat Ninja Gaiden, but... It's a regular Nintendo game, but... Um, I still haven't beaten 2 and 3. 3 was definitely the hardest. <sighs> yeah. Except for the... The first one wins simply because of the boss gauntlet, where if you lose, you go all the way back to the beginning of 6. Yeah, that was just... Don't you do the same thing in both the subsequent games? No, if you die, you go back to, like, the beginning of the sub-stage or something like that. And oh, so, like, if it's on... If the if the bosses are on 6-3, okay, you go here's, back to the beginning of 6 three. Here's, here's what's happening. Let's say you're on... The boss is 6-5. Uh-huh. You... You, if you die, you go back to the beginning of 6-4, uh -huh. but you don't get healed between each boss. Ah. Uh, so, but the bosses stay dead. Whereas in the original Ninja Gaiden, it was... You got healed in between every boss, but it was always a gauntlet run. Yeah. But the bosses stay dead, so what you would do is, you would kill boss 1, try to kill boss 2, die, replay the level, and it would start you off at boss 2. Yep. Which is nice. Arduous, but nice. It's much better than having to beat all three bosses in a row, even if you do get healed. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's, uh... Actually, that would, that's much easier, because if you can get past that, you know that basically Ninja Gaiden is all about rhythm. So, I mean, if you know the rhythms, you'll be able to get back there pretty easily. Yeah. The worst part about those games is running out of time on a really long level. And they do have some long-ass levels. Uh... Hey you. I guess that's one thing Castlevania never really did have was it didn't. It did have awkward platforming because of the jump controls, but I mean it was never the difficulty wasn't about the platforming really and avoiding enemies while you did it. Ninja Gaiden is. Oh, very... the difficulty was about. There was definitely difficulty in avoiding enemies while you platform. Well, I mean, uh, I. In a very different Damn. way though. Ninja Gaiden is very Kaizo in the way it does that, whereas Castlevania just isn't. <laughs> I'd have to do a comparison video someday or something. I've always found that, on the on the NES at least, I always found the Ninja Gaiden more fun to play than the original Castlevanias. So Metroid. Yeah. Who right. wants to see me die, because it might happen soon. Yep. Yay, lag. I'm not being very cautious. You start to lose cautiousness at some point in this game. Why uh, is there lag? I Didn't you hear me mention this room always has lag? Oh. I thought you meant the other room where, like, the the room I keep bitching about, and the, the three red turtle guys who come out. I don't know what they're called. Ah, oh, fuck it. You can morph- 40 more. energy and one missile. We're grinding. We're prob- If we don't find something to say in the next five seconds, we're cutting it out, though. Dennis- the, What? What are you gonna say? Oh, uh, well, you can mock Thankfully, ball. Thankfully, you there. get ten missiles per. Yep. Why would I mock ball? Because it's fun and useful. No, it's not. <laughs> Damn, we only have thirty-five missiles. I gotta fix that. I'm sure there are some you can get around here. But again, this the problem is you keep forgetting what you can do. Well, once I get the speed booster, half the game unlocks to me. Right. Lots of energy tanks. A lot of the guardians. A lot of energy tanks and a lot of really hard energy tanks. Or a lot of really hard items in general, really. Mmm, coke. <sighs> you gotta cut that shit out, man. It's bad for you. 
Was that Drebin? I don't think so. Right, never mind then. I was making a reference to cocaine. Oh. He says something. He says that he has to quit because it's bad for him, yes. Yeah. That monkey smokes. This will- there we go. I was going to say this will work eventually. There are little things that you may, that you can make yourself proud of when you do them correctly, like that. Not necessarily that they're difficult, but you just feel sexy. Wrong place. Shortcut. Hey. Power bombs are shortcuts pretty consistently. And yes, that was a power bomb block. Otherwise, I would have done it before. And yay. And we're back to walking. We're back to this room. Let's see if I can. Nope. Not off to a good start. Oh, Not off yeah. to a good start. <laughs> you load. You... I'll bet you if you hold left, you can get out of that too late. No, the worst part is, I had to. T I have to take my right hand off the arrow keys to load state. Ah, uh, right. Or my left hand off the jump button. I'm definitely moving that load state button after this. Oh. You can move a few of them over to the numpad if you want to. I no, wanted to try that, I'm it's just a bit of a bitch. I'm sticking save and load onto E and R. Mm. Didn't you already do that? Uh, I've stuck sa I stuck save onto E at the beginning of this recording. Right. No, oh, I thought maybe if I mashed jump I'd be able to make it out of there. Alright. Uh, this game makes you think that a lot. Alright, no, this is, this is the thing that I will do. Do those guys even damage you? No. They just pick you up and drop you onto spikes. Yeah, of course. It's like... They eat some unknown force from uh, you and then just shit you out. No, it's not like that at all. It's like they pick you up and drop you. Why would they do that? Because metal doesn't taste good? Maybe? Made it! Do those things even have, like, digestive tracts, or...? They're dragons. That's all you need to know. Those are dragons? They look like... Dr they look like dracons, but with pincers for heads. You know what doesn't look like a dragon? Uh, what's his name? Dragon. Dragon. I forgot his name. I was gonna call him Dracomire. You know what does look like a dragon? Botswoon. You know what Botswoon looks like? Or what Botswoon sounds like? What Dragon looks like? I don't know about that. It's certainly more appropriate. Where am I going? Kinda like how Nappa is some sort of badass and he just sounds like someone who's a professional sleeper. I don't know, but don't right. comment on that. Um. Great, great. Oh, I know where I'm going now. Oh. Yep. There's Julian. Don't talk about him. Almost there. And Julian is Skyping us. Oh god, he's gonna want in. Oh. Oh wait, can we kill it? Do we have to kill everyone in here again? Nope. Hey, hey. He's not gonna want it. He's gonna want us to help him beat Super Metroid because he's an idiot. Oh right, yeah. I can't believe he hasn't beaten that game yet with all the help I've given him. I. How often does he play it? Seriously. Not often. It's. I mean, if you play it correctly, it can be a. It can be a three-hour game. If you play it correctly, it you can, can be a forty-five-minute game. Yeah. Well, okay, that's not playing it correctly. I was. Uh, was that an any percent or a one hundred? The best 100% run is under an hour, I know that. According to the uh, Metroid Wikia, both of the best runs of this game, but the any percent run and the 100% runs are uh, less than an hour long. Hi, Mom! Hi! 